Hello everyone, I'd like to showcase the build now. This is actually a build. You can make stuff like this. It's quite interesting, quite peculiar, how you can push the boundaries of this game. This is just what it looks like. Uh, it pushes in with pistons. This is used with pistons and it's automatic, pretty much. It's just one lever to set up and then a few clicks and whatnot. But pretty much, uh, just here I'll turn the transparency off so you can see the actual mechanics. What I do is I just have a pole that's quite high up in the air. So I'll show measurements if you want to build this yourself. So 237 plus 13.25 off the ground for this part. And then it's about 500 pistons. And then you add a little block like this, a block like this, a block like this, and then about 405 more pistons. Then you have a block like this, like this, like this. The piston settings are like this, and there's 0 0.4 gap between each one. And then there's 54 pistons down. And the final one is set to 6 length instead of 10.5. The ground here is scaled like this. These are the little scalings for these parts. And for the actual chest, it uses butter blocks, so when the build is teleported, it does not fall apart, because servos are technically two blocks with just a really large force pulling them together. It's 10.5 up, and it just gets pushed down the top half. This rope isn't really necessary. Uh, it was made before I put the butter. Server settings are like this. For the end chest, uh... This is like 0 0.25 deep, about 0 0.5 wide on this, this, this is 1, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1. Uh, this little gap bit here, 0 0.5, and then 2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1. Yeah, this is 2, but I hollowed it out. This wait. This is about 0 0.25. And for the top half you just make a you just make uh phone parts of the bottom half up and then you turn it into a cylinder and then delete the bottom half and then scale each part except for this one to half its length. The inside is, uh, what are these called? Bouncy blocks, because it looks like a uh, little flesh. This is uh, coal blocks. The little brightness values, by the way, are this. And when you want to set it up, you go over here, sit down, flick the lever, press C for camera, once it's done pushing all the pistons, and then you unanchor it, and it'll... It appears I have, because I was messing with stuff, clicking around stuff, I messed it up. Let me just reload it. If you want to clear something outside the plot, you have to turn off collision and anchor and it'll just fall in the void. Now having it reloaded, uh, setup is pretty simple, I'll click the lever. There's butter underneath it and this is collision off, so it'll fall into the void. 
so I don't have to worry about somebody flicking this lever or manually deleting it. See for camera, I turned crosshairs off. You have to wait for it, you'd be able to use the camera. Because if you anchor it or unanchor it, after too little time, it'll not fully extend and then you have to wait more. Anyways, uh, from here it'll just automatically go to the end. This is pretty similar to an AFK farm that uses pistons, however there's no real guides on YouTube on how to make an AFK farm with pistons. Even though they're pretty simple because you don't have to worry about moving around. They're just expensive. You're too lazy to set things up. Anyways, from here you press F to get rid of the butter. And the keybind I set is W to move the little servo up. Uh, F does nothing after the butter is removed. There's also a keybind, or there's two things which I didn't showcase in the video because that was AFK footage. But there's uh, a harpoon in the ground, and you can pull it up and down. It's a dragon harpoon, so it heat seeks. Pull it up and down with pushes H, pulls G, and it's X to hook onto something. And then you just pull them down into the water if you want to drown them. Or if you pull them deep enough, you can pull them into the void and then let go of them. It's pretty convincing, as long as you know how to build terrain. If you go too far back, you'll uh, start deleting your blocks because of uh, the end. You could also make it taller for less realism, but more uh, less of a chance that they see the real end behind it. Making it taller is probably the better option because most players aren't observant to know the real height of the end, and but they are observant to know that there's a gigantic end right behind it. The chest is pretty much one-to-one -one exact replica. But the other stuff, it's kind of hard to recreate because we can't just use pixel measurements. There's also this little uh, titanium wall so that players with butter grinders can't just go over it. I mainly built this for them, because I hate them. It's the little unoriginal little plus butter grinders. And they just go... And then they go, uh, uh. And then they go, uh. Like, they don't even do anything special with it. It's not like, oh, I painted it, made it special, made it my little own thing. Uh, and also added, like, a little special mechanic to make it so that I am perfectly aligned or whatnot. No, they just do the same exact lazy little build. Sometimes they even just use wood. Also, it looks ugly as heck. So pretty much I made this for them. Somewhat. I made it because it was funny. But also to mess with them. Specifically this little part to stop flyers. Hey, why is it not opening? Hey! Why is it not opening? It looks pretty cool on the inside when it's closed. It's like a little mimic from Dark Souls or Terraria or whatever. Alright, that's pretty much all I wanted to showcase. I don't know what else to showcase. Oh yeah, the block count, I guess I could showcase that. It's about like 13,000 blocks. But you could definitely optimize it to be less if you want. This isn't supposed to be a perfect tutorial guide, just a general measurement marker, whatnot. 